Welcome to an out of the box unboxing. Today I'm going to be looking at Castle Panic. It's a bit of an old game, but it's been on my shelf of opportunity for quite a few months now. I thought it's about time I opened it up and had a bit of a play. Um, includes solo play, which is a good thing. So this is a game for one to six players, ages 10 and up. Um, with no, let's have a look and see what we get inside. Quite excited about this. I have Star Trek Panic, which is a Star Trek version of this, um, and I've never played the original. Um, and also, I hear there's a couple of expansions that are available for this as well. So, if it's something that I like, um, there's always opportunities to expand it. But first thing first, let's see what we get. So, we get advertisement. Um, and we get some rules, and the rules look okay, it's colourful, really well laid out, play details, and does it have solo rules, solitaire game, played as a solo game on player, all the standard rules apply, with the exception that they get six cards and may discard, and discard and draw two cards instead of one. Okay, well that's, I like our solo variant that's close to the original, and summary page at the back, which is always handy. What else have we got? We've got a board. I guess this is going to be our, our castle bit. Oh, good quality card, um, and it's, it's big. Big fold-out board, nice attractive colours. What have we got? Castle, Swordsman, Knight, Archer, and Forest Areas. I remember rightly from my Star Trek Panic, the enemies come in, and we've got to defend the middle. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, lots of empty space. I guess there's room for expansions. If we go that way, we've got some pretty standard-looking standy bases. And a... Standard D6. Okay, and we've got... Oh, these will be our monster tokens. So we'll put some of these up close. Okay, so... I imagine we put them face down and as we reveal them, different things happen. So what we've got here, we've got a troll giant boulder green monsters move on so these are like events that happen and there's a big bag of those um, do you have anything underneath the insert I'm not holding my breath but you never know nope so there's plenty of space here for the other stuff so this I guess is our castle See what's in there. Okay, so that's like a player token. And here's our castle. Do we try and put it together quickly? Let's have a look at the instructions. Uh, oh, okay. So these standees. Uh, for the for the castles, I kind of thought they might be for characters, but no, they're for your putting your your bits of your castle together so it stands up, and then that's around your walls. So you're basically going to be building up all the different walls of your castle around here, and I guess as they get knocked over and attacked, um, they fall apart, which is quite novel. I don't think I've ever had a you know, assemble a, assemble a castle with standees and then um, attack it. So um, I'll probably do a pay through video, so look out for that. And we'll see how it gets done in anger. And then there's a set of cards. Um, let's have a look and see what's in there. They're pretty tightly shrink wrapped. Actually, I have my trusty. Craft knife. Okay. So 
Right, so a bit closer. These are all got the same back and on the front. Oh, and they're thin. They're very thin, actually. I'll say they're thinner than Magic Card. Mm, similar. Size-wise, um, they are smaller. So they're going to, they're not going to fit. They're going to be the same height as the standard Magic Card, but they are thinner. So they're going to, you're going to have to get some um, different sleeves if you're going to sleeve them. And I sleeve everything, so I guess that's something to look forward to. Okay, so what do we got? Archer. Hit one monster in the red archer ring. Oh, okay. Red. Knight hit one monster in the red knight ring. Okay, so this is then allowing us to clean off them in different areas across. Move one monster back into the forest, keeping the same number arc. Drive them back. Make sure it's still in focus. Quarter of play. Okay, draw cards, trade cards, play cards, move monsters, draw two new monsters. So it's basically a yeah, tower defense with a horde of critters attacking. Nice. Um, yeah, looks fairly simple. I'm looking forward to um, building my castle and um, seeing how it plays out. The board's very tangible. Oh, that's nice too. I like this. It's got a um, order of play on the board. And boss monsters. That is handy. Um, thank you, designers. Anyway, that is what you get inside Castle Panic. Fun little cooperative, as it says on the top front, a cooperative tower defense game. Defend the castle, survive the panic, become the master slayer. Don't forget to subscribe and like.